In this class, we will study several possible ways to apply materials to drawings in AutoCAD 2010. You will learn about texture and tool options to enhance the creation of images with advanced realism. Let's begin. Open the bench file from the course files. As you can see, the AutoCAD interface has added the ribbon style, and then the tools are grouped into tabs and panels. The materials in AutoCAD are used as properties to define the appearance of object surfaces. Access these commands on the Render tab in the Materials options. The first option is to enable the materials and textures on to turn the texture view on or off in a workspace. Then it is not necessary to render the surface in order to display these features. Planar mapping is the second option, which provides mapping tools for such objects as spheres, cubes, cylinder, etc. Use these commands when there are imperfections on the surfaces to correctly apply texture to the surfaces. Another option is Attach by Layer, which enables attributing materials to a specific layer of objects. This opens a box with the created layers, and then you can insert materials on each one of them. It provides enhanced organization of materials and facilitates the application of textures in our drawing. Materials is the last option. It opens the Materials Properties box so you can create new textures and define their properties as needed. The program interface has changed a great deal in the last versions. Mesh modeling is a new feature on the Mesh Modeling tab in this latest AutoCAD version 2010. Mesh modeling makes it possible to work on sub-objects and provides better and more advanced creation options. Throughout these modules you'll see some practical examples on this subject, and Render has a specific course on this subject, so take a look at our site. There are also some predefined textures in AutoCAD. You can access them on the View Tab Palettes panel by clicking the Tool Palettes icon, or typing the Ctrl-3 shortcut. There are also some predefined material types for application, or you can even modify their properties to improve their appearance even more. So in this class you got a quick overview of the AutoCAD 2010 interface and its rendering tools.